I'm Lance Gross, and I value creativity. Batch, thank you for coming to my studio and allowing me to turn my camera on you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, so basically with this, with this project, I've come up with a wish list of celebrity friends that I wanted to invite into my studio. Also, I've been assigning a special value that, that's special to me. For you, I chose creativity, just because I feel like you're one of the most creative beings that I've ever met. Thank Super you. creative. Thank you, thank you. You heard that, Mom? I made it. <laughs> <laughs> so now with that, when I say creativity, what does that mean for you? Creativity means thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. It means, for me, it's being unique. It's not doing what everybody else does. If you do something that somebody else does, it's taking what they do and taking it to the next level, amplifying it. So I know your mind moves at rapid speeds. Mm -hmm. Mine does too. But it's because of ADD. Yours is because, <laughs> your, yours is because of the creativity. What have you already created today? What have I created? Um, I do daily vlogs. Um, I shot a skit. Um, what else have I done? I went to the gym. I didn't. I didn't work out, but I just went just to say it. I went to the gym that day, and I came here and we did a photo shoot. Yeah. We did a lot today. Yeah, it's a full day. I didn't even eat yet. <laughs> no, it's bad. Yeah. Okay, so. I'll give you a scenario. You're in the middle of filming a skit, mm -hmm. and you realize it sucks. Right. Right in the middle of shooting it. What yeah. do you do? Well, see, what I do now, because that used to happen, it's you always have an idea of how it should go, and you just got to be able to know that things may not go the way you want them to, so you have to know how to roll with the punches. Right, right. So now what I do is I'll just come up with a loose idea, mm -hmm. and I'll just improv it, and I'll just keep talking till it's funny. Yeah. And that's what I do now. I just okay. keep going. So now I'll rarely come into a situation where I'm like, oh, this is horrible because I've already set my mind up that before I go into the skit, mm. I'm just gonna do something that's free. Just, right, right, right. you know, you, whatever happens, happens. So how do you know when something's dope that you're doing? Oh man, I mean, isn't everything I do dope? No, <laughs> <laughs> no I just, there's a feeling that you get where it's, when I make videos, I don't, I, I don't really make them for the audience, I make them for me. Right. And if it makes me happy, if it makes me smile, if it makes me laugh, then I'm gonna upload it. If yeah. it doesn't make me laugh, then I'm not gonna upload it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's how I started off. When I started off making videos, I didn't do it for the world. I just did it just to show my friends. Yeah. It was like, yo, look at this. You think this is funny? And they're yeah. like, yeah, it's funny. And then that's all. Yeah. So like when I first started off, I was getting like five or 10 likes. And I'm like, yo, that's cool. That's fine with me. And then like one time I got 71 likes. I'm like, yo, 71 likes? They like it. Yeah. <laughs> and then now if I'm, if I'm getting less than 3,000 likes in a minute, I'm like, wait, something's wrong. Yeah, you yeah. know? So it's, it's different now, yeah. but yeah. So with that, do you ever feel the pressure of not being funny? Uh, the pressure of not being funny? Hmm. No, not really, because someone, I've realized that someone always finds the humor in something, no matter what it is. If I'm just looking at the camera, just staring, not saying nothing, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna guarantee yeah. that four comments down, there's gonna be three laughing emojis. Yeah. Like it's just, someone always finds the comedy in something. What, what are some of your influences? My influences, people that I look up to, the first person that got me into entertainment was Jim Carrey. I was watching uh, Ace Ventura, The Mask, all those movies, and I was like, dang, I wanna do what he's doing. Yeah. Um, and then I started listening to, back in the day, you remember LimeWire? Um, the download. We yeah, the download, download, the illegal yeah, yeah. downloads. Yeah. I would download <laughs> and I would listen to uh, Eddie Murphy, mm -hmm. uh, his Delirious, yeah. Delirious and Raw. Yeah. And I didn't know it was stand-up. Yeah. I, just, I just thought it was some funny guy just talking and yeah. telling stories. So I was like, dang. And then it wasn't until I hit college that I realized yeah, that was his stand-up. And I was like, yo, I want to do stand-up. And then I started doing stand-up. And then after the stand-up, I started making YouTube videos. And so Eddie Murphy, yeah. Jim Carrey, um, uh, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, all the legends, Martin Lawrence, yeah. yeah. So if you had to pick one comedian to, to walk in their shoes for a day, who would it be? It wouldn't even be a comedian. Okay. It would, it would be Will Smith. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. He's like my all-time favorite. How do you keep up with social media because I mean your, your brand is growing mm -hmm. like how do you keep up with the social media aspect and also the the film and television side yeah I just 
I'm just always working. Yeah. You know, most people, I, a lot of people, they look at it and they say, ah, oh, the social media stuff, the, the entertainment, it's easy. But they don't really realize how much work we put into it. Like, a normal is nine to five, right? Yeah. So I wish my day was from nine to five. Our days are, you gotta wake up. You said you woke up at six in the morning today, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you gotta, you do this and then you gotta edit it and you gotta look at everything. But like, that's what we do. It's like I'm waking up early in the morning and then I do what I have to do, but people don't realize I have to go back and I have to edit it. Yeah. And then after I finish editing, I have to upload it. And then I also gotta think of new ideas for the next day. You know, in my mind, you know, I, I come from a sports background, yeah. athletic background, so I'm very competitive. Yeah. And, you know, I look at all the statistics I have. Like, I look at how, much, how many followers I'm gaining a day. Right. You know, if, if I'm not getting like 30,000 followers a day, I'm doing something wrong and I'm going back trying to figure out what I need to do to make another viral video so I can get those, the gains that I need to get. Yeah. You know, it's like, a, it's like a gym. You're doing yeah. a lot and I, I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Is, is there, a off switch because you seem like you're always ready you ready to go you ready to do it mm -hmm. just tackle every everything that comes your way is there an off switch uh when i'm sleeping <laughs> i mean that's the only off switch you can't the when the moment you take a break someone else is working harder yeah. you know and that's true because that's me i'm waiting for i'm looking on my twitter ah they're not tweeting they're sleeping i'm up doing yeah. another idea post another video because you can't sleep especially for for what i do mm. i have I have international fans, mm. so I gotta post at five in the morning, three in the morning, because three in the morning over here is like 12 p.m. over in Amsterdam, yeah. you know? So let me ask you this, when do you get your best ideas? My best ideas, in the shower, mm. um, or just out with friends and something naturally happens. I, I read a book that said you get a lot of your you're more creative when you first wake up in the morning mm. and right before you go to sleep. So I know if I wake up out of a dream and I get an idea, I'm just gonna write it. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be like it'll be like five in the morning, I'll wake up and I'll write an idea, and then I'll wake up like later on and I'll look at it like, ugh, what, <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. Do you ever feel like the pressure, like a lot of comedians and, and, and actors, they feel pressure to be politically correct when they're uh, producing their own material. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that pressure or do you just, live by your own means and, and just, if it offends, it offends. Well, the thing is with comedy, all types of comedy offend someone mm. on some level, you know, whether it be a little bit offensive or majorly offensive. Now, mm. there's certain lines I don't cross. Um, I've never made a video about rape. I've never done a video about domestic violence. Mm. Um, and I, I don't think I've done a video about homosexuality. It's just, those are like, you know, and, those are just things I don't, I don't cross on, you know? On. Yeah, but, you know, there's some issues that I have to talk about, like, you know, the things with our people that are happening in the media with, you know, mm -hmm. the, the racism. So yeah. I, we ha I had to speak out on that. So do you, do you have a favorite, like, out of Vine, Snapchat, Instagram, television or film? Definitely te television film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Filming, filming movies, it's it's a lot harder because the process is so much longer. Yeah. Uh, TV would be the most enjoyable, but the most rewarding for me is filming movies. Well, I wish you all the success. I, I really appreciate you being a part of this. Thank you. And, you know, you're, you're, you're a friend of mine. Thank and you. And I'm rooting for you. And thank you for joining me and let me turn my camera on you. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you too, brother, man. Yes, sir. So they gonna bring in the champagne and the glitch? <laughs> what goes on now? <laughs> Creativity is important to me uh, because I'm an actor, I'm an entertainer, I'm a photographer. I always have to have new and fresh ideas. I always have to be willing to bring a character to life. This is what I love to do, you know? I love being creative, you know? So that's why creativity is important to me.